Hey Gemini, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for uh, February the 10th to the 16th and as I always ask you if you like this reading, like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you'd like to do, I don't mind. I'm going to start your reading right now. So uh, yeah, uh, hmm. very mixed reading but I'm going to start. Uh, the first card you have for your past is uh, the Emperor. Yeah, I can see this is a very mixed spread already. So, okay, this kind of positive, negative. Anyway, I'm just going to start. Um, so, yeah, obviously the emperor is all about taking charge, uh, being in control. I'm the boss. I'm going to do this, all that kind of thing. And I think you're trying to do that. You're really making an effort to try and do that. Um, it does feel like you had a few things that wanted to go against you. So you're trying, it's almost like you're kind of running in a swimming pool and you kind of can't quite get there, but you're trying really, really hard. Um, yeah, I'm actually seeing uh, some mess. <laughs> I'm seeing a mess. I'm seeing a person who was a mess actually. Um, and yeah, very difficult person. All I can say, all I can, all I can, the only word I can use to describe them is mess. I can't think of any other word. Yeah, chaos, crazy chaos. That's the other word I was trying to think of. Mass chaos um, in the way, difficult, holding you back. I'm seeing that holding you back, dragging you down. I think you used to be quite close to this person at one time. You're, you're not now. Uh, it might be that you're actually still close to them. It might be that they're around you. I, I'm feeling that, or it might just be their energy that's around you, uh, but you're not emotionally close to them now. I think you were once, that, that's what I'm seeing. Um, lots of frustration. Yeah, there's frustration around a date. I don't know if that's going to make sense to anyone, uh, but I am seeing a date. I'm seeing a frustration around that. I'm seeing uh, a date that was in front of you that you were looking forward to, and then that was pushed forward again very frustrating. What I mean by that is, say you're looking forward to a date and it's tomorrow that comes along. It's like, oh, after this date, everything's going to be fine or something like that. And then it's suddenly pushed back to three months after that or a year after that or something like that. That's the kind of thing I'm seeing there. And I think there was frustration around this date because it had something to do with this person, this really messy, annoying person more than annoying I think they're quite difficult because you've got the devil here so that I think that relates to them too so um, so it's a bit more serious than uh, someone who's annoying but anyway yes very bad energy very negative energy um, and it was around you and I think you thought you were going to see the end of this person or something like that or you weren't going to have to be around them or something after this date but then it was put forward so now it's like, oh, I thought that was going to be over. Now I'm going to have to go through this again or I'm still going to have to deal with this person and I don't want to. So I keep on seeing them around you physically. I keep on seeing that. So either they're around you physically now or they were at this time, which is in the past, and now they're still kind of around you. Uh, their energy is, but maybe they're not. So it could be either thing, could be either thing here. Um, I think you were around them at this time physically and you didn't want to be. And, and I'm seeing this big rock, I'm just looking at the, this emperor and I'm looking behind this emperor and there are these big red, it could be fire but to me they look like big red rocks or boulders and I think that's what this person felt like to you. It's like I want to push them out of the way, I don't want them here but they're like a big boulder and I can't push them. They're right there, I can't get them out of the way. Really frustrating, really horrible. I think they dragged you down. I think they made you feel tired. You just didn't want them around you. And uh, don't let this date change or whatever this is stop you from going ahead and doing things. Don't let it stop you from moving forward. Because I think the date change, the combination of this change of date and them, might have made you feel really like, oh, I give up, I'm so tired now. I was really looking forward to that. Now it's not there. 
I'm just so tired. I just don't know if I can keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. That's why you've got the emperor. He keeps on going. He's in charge. He does things. He's a soldier. He's a king. He pushes forwards. So you've got to try and pick up that energy and you've got to try and lose the energy of this person who's really, really draining you if you're still around them. So keep on working toward that. Keep on pushing forward. That's, um, that's the message in that card. That's the message in that card. Okay, so uh, the next card you have you passed is, yes, the devil. So, right. So that's that person. So it's a lot more serious than them being a difficult person around you or someone who's a little bit annoying. This is someone who's quite draining on your energy. I, keep on, I kept on seeing that in the emperor. So it's here again. Very, very draining. Very, very exhausting. If you're still around this person, um, I don't know if you are or not, if you are physically still around this person, please get away from them. I'm seeing that very, very clearly that if you are still around them, get away. I hope you have gotten away because this is in the past. If you haven't, you must get away from them. That, that's what I'm seeing now. Uh, don't worry, not physically in danger, but their energy is so heavy. They're a really, really bad person to have around you. It feels like you can't concentrate. It feels like you can't do anything else with this person in your energy. Um, even to me, it feels very heavy, very horrible, very tiring. Um, I'm getting that. And uh, there's someone else around this as well. And maybe you are feeling as if um, you, you didn't want to leave this person because of this other person this person that you care for, there's another person you care for them, they care for you as well. Um, and I don't know if this is a child, it doesn't have to be, it's just someone you care for. Um, I think they'd rather see you at peace than around this person because there's no peace while you're around this person, there's only stress. And, and again, look at these poor people chained to this devil. They're chained, but they're loose chains. They're loose chains around their necks, they're not tight. So they could, they could carry them off, they could, sorry, lift them off and walk away. So there's a way for you to get out if you're still in this. So that's the message there. There is a way for you to do that. If you're sitting there waiting for the next date to come along, if you're still around this person and you're waiting for that, don't wait for that date, um, you know, it might move. You never know, it might move again. Um, so instead of waiting for things to happen to you, you take charge. You be in charge of things. You be the emperor. You do that. I know I sound really, really bossy. Um, hopefully you are away from this, but if you are not, or if someone's listening to this, they're still around this kind of energy with this person who's dragging them down, draining them, making them tired, please do whatever you can to get away from this person. Okay, so uh, the last card you have you passed is uh, the Nine of Pentacles. So look at the difference between these two. This is what you're like when you're around this person and the Nine of Pentacles is what you're like when you're away from them. Total difference, look at that. Look at how happy this woman is. So, okay, so there's other, pr I know that sounds bossy, I'm sorry about that, but I just really have to say that. Okay, so, um, yeah, so there's this other pressure here as well. There's some other pressure around you. It might be coming from your family because I'm seeing, I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of support around your family. And I'm seeing that in this card because if you look at this card, there's a home, there's a house right on the horizon line on the right hand side behind this woman. So she's walked away from her home. She's turned her back on her home because she's not getting support from them. So she's all by herself. She feels like, no, I can do better on my own. And so also with the two trees, there are two trees on the horizon line. That's all about a choice. So at one time, I think you made a choice to not tell your family certain things because you feel as if they can't support you. So there's that, not everyone in your family, but that's what I'm getting now. And I think also, Maybe being around this devil person as well, um, you know, I, I think maybe a lot of people in your family or some people might have said, oh, stay away from them, you should stay away from them, don't go near that person, why are you still with this person, if it was a love connection, it might have been, why are you still with them, you need to leave them, lots and lots of pressure like that, and I think you felt as if, you know, this is a very 
um, this is quite a deep situation. It's not just like, let's walk off and leave. It's quite difficult. It's quite difficult to do that. There are lots of layers. There are lots of reasons why I'm staying. One of them might have been a financial reason. So there are lots of different, um, quite deep reasons why you would have stayed with them. Um, so, um, and, and you couldn't explain that to these family members because they don't see things on a very deep level. And, and so, and also, you know, they, they just didn't really understand you generally. So, you know, you just had to kind of keep all of this to yourself and this woman's by herself. And, um, okay, there's something else I'm seeing here. There's something else I'm seeing here. Um, this is only going to be for a few people, but I have to say this because it's a very um, important thing I have to say. So now, if someone's threatening to expose you in some way or something like that, um, just know that, um, just know you're really strong. Know that, know that you're strong. You're stronger than this person who's trying to threaten you. If you're around someone who's saying something like, oh, don't leave me, you can't leave me. If you leave, I'll tell people this and I'll tell people that and I'll tell people all your secrets because I was seeing secrets here. Um, I'll tell people this, I'll tell people that. If they're, if they're blackmailing you, if they're threatening you, the first thing to know is, um, you know, it doesn't matter if they tell people this and that. It, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're going to look worse than you. And the other thing is, if they're doing that, if they have to keep, if they have to do that to keep you around them, they feel weaker when you're away. And they know that if you leave them, they're going to feel very, very weak and you're going to feel stronger. So just know that as well. And anyone who has to threaten someone to be around them is someone who can't get someone to be around them because they want to be around them. So that's another thing again. So if you're in that position, please just get away. Don't worry about what they have to say. Don't worry about it. Just know that when you are away from them, if that happens, um, if you do get away, you're going to be in a really, really strong position. They're going to be in a much weaker position and they can't threaten you. It doesn't matter if they tell people things. It really does not matter. They're going to look worse than you. They really, really are. So get away. Don't don't keep, don't let them keep you there. So that's only for a few people, but I feel as if I had to say that. I just hope someone hears that message. Okay. So the first card you have here present is uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing something about this in one of your other readings, I think. It, it feels like a business, obviously this is a work thing. It feels like some kind of business feels like some kind of partnership uh, and I think you were thinking about starting this up. It doesn't feel as if it started yet. It might have been but it just doesn't feel like that. It feels like early days. Um, it feels like you have someone you're very close to in this partnership and I think you're probably talking about uh, okay what are we going to do, strategies, uh, you know, all that kind of thing. It doesn't feel like you're making much of an income from this yet. But, um, you know, if you look at this card, you can see all these coins. There's the promise of that happening for you. So if you keep on um, working with this, you will get some profit out of this. So, um, yeah, something stopped for a while in this. Something stopped or it slowed down. Um, it might have something to do with this person in the devil card, um, whether you're with them still, whether you're not. Um, if you're not with them, I'm seeing them probably still getting in your head. I can see that their energy still being around you because um, it's really hard even if you physically get away from a devil kind of a person um, they can still stay in your head for a while so it might be that but um, because yeah there's all this draining energy very draining energy when you're around this devil person very tired very drained so that might be what slowed you down in this business thing but yeah there's really good potential there really good potential uh, for money coming in, finances, all that kind of thing with all those coins there. Um, yeah, there's something technical. There's something technical here. Uh, you might have forgotten this or um, maybe you just haven't done this yet. Uh, definitely something technical. So it might be some little thing you have to set up. Uh, if you know what this is, do this thing now. It's something you should really put into place now. 
and before other things happen after that. That's what I'm seeing. So if, if that makes sense to you, if you know what that is, don't procrastinate on that. You might have to get someone else to help you with this. It might be a little bit difficult. Maybe that's why you haven't done this because it's like, I don't know how to do this. I have to get someone in to do this. I don't know how or who or what. Um, you might have a relative actually who's quite technical. They might be able to help you with that. So if you know who that is, um, ask them. Uh, they'll be able to help you. It feels like a small thing, but it's going to make a really big difference to this thing. So that, that's what I'm seeing there. I hope that makes sense to someone. And uh, yeah, there's someone else here. Sorry about that noise. Um, okay, let me get let me concentrate again. Every time there's a noise, it drives me crazy. Okay, um, right. So someone wants to talk to you. Someone wants to talk to you. They're thinking about you right now. They're thinking about you. They'd like to get your attention, not in a bad way, but they'd like to talk to you. So get ready, get ready for someone to reach out to you and talk to you. This is someone you haven't seen for a long, long time and they're thinking about you over and over again, not in an obsessive way, because I'm just looking at this repetition on this card, but they're thinking about you a lot. Um, okay, so yeah, they're going to reach out for you, or to you, I should say. Um, Okay, this is going to sound really, really strange, but I'll say this. <laughs> There's a link between you and it's a name link. There's, it's a name link. What I mean by that is, it, it might be that you have the same name. It might be that you're married, so you have the same name. It might not be that. It might be that uh, your names sound similar, or maybe they rhyme, or maybe you have the first uh, letters um, of your names that is the same. It's something like that. That might give you a clue as to who this is. I'm seeing that. So, um, okay, so yeah, you might be seeing them quite soon, actually. I think they're going to reach out to you quite soon. They're definitely thinking about you. I can see that again. And you've got the Nine of Pentacles here as well, which can be about people returning, coming back because of the falcon. And uh, falcons are trained to come back to their owners. So, um, I'm not saying you own them, but they come back, they go away and then they come back. And, and again, this card's about, or can be about, thinking about someone over and over again. So, um, okay, I'm not seeing any romantic interest here. That doesn't mean it won't turn into that, it might turn into that. This is more like, um, it could turn into that later, but at the moment, I think initially, it's it's just a really sweet kind of, Oh, I'm just thinking about them. I'm thinking about them a lot, actually. I wonder how they are. I'm going to contact them and see how they are. So it's it's really like that, really sweet, really kind. Um, so expect a message from this person. And uh, it might be a little bit awkward to start with, but um, it's going to be a really nice conversation after a while. Very friendly, very sweet, very kind, very friendly. Um, and, and I'm seeing that in the Six of Cups as well, which can be about reunions. So, um, okay, so the next card you have here present is uh, the Five of Wands. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> this is the mess card. That's what this is, total mess, total chaos. So it's interesting actually, because this is in between the Eight of Pentacles and, and the Six of Cups. And both of those cards, again, are about you know, the, the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups are both about, um, for me anyway right now, uh, someone thinking about you, someone wanting to reunite with you. So that's that person again. Um, and, and this is in the middle of that. So um, I'm going to talk about the Six of Cups here as well because they kind of connect um, in this, in what I'm trying to, what I'm seeing here I should say. So, um, okay, so if they contact you, this person, and they will, this person from your past, uh, this name connection person, they are going to contact you. Um, yeah, I'm getting this really gentle, really kind feeling from this person. Um, all right, so this is going to sound a bit strange, another thing that sounds a bit strange, but yes. Um, I think they're being sent to you. I think they're being sent to you uh, to talk to you at this time. And I think they're being sent to remind you of um, of what it feels like to have someone who's more gentle around you, because you've had this horrible devil person around you. And uh, look at the difference between this, the Six of Cups, 
and uh, the, the Five of Wands. This is really sweet, really kind, flowers, everyone's being kind to each other and the Five of Wands is all this terrible mess and fighting and all horrible. So um, there's a big difference between those two. So, um, and it's really interesting because if you look sideways, you've got that chaos card right next to the devil card. And I was seeing that chaos in the devil person, so it's them. And then underneath that, you've got those two lovely, very sweet cards, which is um, the Nine of Pentacles and uh, the Six of Cups next to each other. So it's really interesting when you look sideways as well. Anyway, so yeah, I think they're being sent to you. I think they're being sent to you so that you can see the difference between uh, this very gentle, kind person from your past and this devil person, this chaos person. So yeah, very, very interesting um, combination where they're sitting right now. Very interesting sequence both ways. Um, so um, yeah, so if you're still with them, so again, if you're still around this devil person physically, that's another message to get away. That's a reminder of what you could have. You could have a much more uh, kinder, more gentle person if you are with them. If you're not around them physically, uh, work to get them out of your head. And the more you, the more time you spend with nicer, kinder people, uh, the more you'll realise. Yes, that's not right. That's not normal. Their behaviour is not normal. What's normal is someone who's kind. So I'm getting that as well. That's something to remember. So um, also this person in the Six of Cups, if you are with still with this devil person, they might be able to help you with this practically as well. I don't know. They're a kind person, so they might be able to do that. And you know, you've got a lot of things coming to you, lots of signs, lots of reminders showing you of where you need to go, how to get out of this situation, whether they're in your head or not, I don't know. So listen to those signs, look out for those signs. I'm seeing a lot of signs coming to you, a lot of things being given to you and brought to you. So just look out for those. And, and you need to clear your head of this horrible, uh, chaotic devil energy as well um, if you're going to see those signs. So that's another reason to try and get them out of your head or out of your physical um, surroundings if they're still there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, so so the first card you have your future is the Knight of Swords. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is, yeah, this is very, I'm seeing this family in this card again here. So I'm seeing this is about your family and I'm seeing this in the Nine of Pentacles. So lots of pressure from your family. There's a bit of discord there as well. Um, there are a few family problems there and this is all another reason why you don't want to open up to your family. Now I'm not saying they're all horrible, they're all coming out to stab you like this, like this Knight of Swords. Uh, there is a little bit of backstabbing, there is a little bit of jealousy there. There's a little bit of gossip there. Not everyone, but some people. So yeah, you don't want to open up to these people in your family. You don't want to start lots of arguments or things like that. And you don't want to start people judging you. You don't want that. And if you've been around, again, if you've been around this devil person, I am seeing some people in your family who've said, what do you want to be with them for? Don't be with them. La 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 la. And you've kind of said, well, it's very complicated. I can't leave them right now. And if I did, I don't want to talk to you about it because I don't want to have gossip, I don't want to have judgment, I don't want to have any of that. So I need to deal with that by myself. So I'm getting all of that again there in the Knight of Swords. So again, you know, I think as you come out of this, as you're getting them out of your head, as you're seeing these kinder people around you, I think what you're doing is you're saying, okay, who, who can I trust? Who can't I trust? So you're really looking at everyone in your family again and you're thinking, well, some I can, some I can't, but because there's gossip, because there's talk, because there's all this kind of judgment, I don't need it from anyone. So I'd rather not talk to anyone in my family, really, just in case it gets around and there's gossip and it comes back to me again. And I, I don't need it when I'm getting out of something like that. So that's what I'm seeing there. So I'm not saying never trust anyone in your family. I'm just saying that right now, um, I think when you're coming out of all this devil energy and this mess and everything like that, you still do feel quite vulnerable, I think. So you, you still don't want to open, you up to, open yourself up to any kind of judgment or 
things that might come there. So, so that's what I'm seeing in that card. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, so the next card you have for your future is uh, the Four of Swords. So it's interesting because these are both swords, the Knight of Swords and the Four of Swords. So I'm seeing a little bit more family energy in the Four of Swords as well. I'm seeing it leading on from the Knight of Swords. And uh, this is, but that even though they're both swords, this is the opposite of the Knight. So this is peaceful, uh, can be about enlightenment. Uh, obviously this is a tomb as well so it's in a church so obviously someone's you know someone's been buried here so we can see that um, and yeah really interesting sequence of these two cards because I'm seeing family here as well now in this card I'm seeing um, yeah I'm, I'm getting this feeling of missing someone um, it feels like there's a family member that you're missing so because you've got all these people who don't support you in the Knight of Swords. Now you're coming into this Four of Swords and you're thinking, I really miss this person who used to be around me. They're a family member. I really wish I could have them around me to support me. I've got these other people I know don't support me. I really, really wish this person was here and they're not here. So yeah, really missing someone. Uh, I think that, yeah, they really used to support you in a lot of different ways. Uh, yeah, you've had your ups and downs with this person, I can see that. You didn't always agree with everything, but they did support you, they really did. And yeah, I have to say this, they're not around you, you wish they were, I'm getting that. Uh, I don't want to upset anyone, but this is what I'm seeing. It might be that they're not on this earth anymore. That's what this card can be about sometimes, and that's what I'm seeing, so it might be that they're not here. So. Um, and yeah, I've seen all these signs coming to you, all these energies, messages coming to you. And I think that might be where these are coming from. So these are very special messages, um, very special things. So you need to open your eyes and look for these signs, which is what this can be about as well. Um, so um, yeah, a bit more about this person. Um, you used to help them. Uh, you used to help someone else around them as well. Two people here, maybe they were married. I'm getting that, very close, two people. Uh, but yeah, they really care about you, they still do, if this is you. Uh, they understand what you've been through, I'm getting that as well. You've been through this horrible thing, they understand that. They have been through some things, they've made some mistakes, and they've kept a lot of things to themselves, so they're very much like you in that way. They can see a lot of you in them. I can see that as well. So, um, okay, this is going to sound really strange. This is this is really strange. You're going to think I'm crazy, but this is what I'm seeing, so I'm going to say. Um, there's some kind of food, some kind of dish uh, that you associated with this person. I don't know whether they made this food or whether um, you both had the same favorite food, something like that. I don't know what that is. I just saw that, so I hope that makes sense to someone. Uh, but they want to know they they want you to know they love you. They want you to know they love you. You're blessed. They're watching over you. They're protecting you. They are supporting you. You have the support of this person. You really do. It might be that you know you don't need any other support actually, because you've got this amazing energy around you, this beautiful support. Um, Okay, I just okay. I just have to see, say a little bit more about this. Uh, they've been through a really bad situation. They left someone. They left someone. Uh, so they left someone in love who was a devil for them, just like you. And then they went off with someone else, or they they ended up with someone else who was much. Well, they had their problems with this other person, but they were better for them than the devil person, let's say. So that might give you a clue as to who that is as well. Um, but that's how they understand you. That's how they understand you. I'm getting that really strongly. If This is what they want you to know. If they've left the devil person, you can do that too, if you haven't already. And if you have, if they're still in your head, you can leave that as well. You can get out of their energy. You can get out of their energy. Okay. Okay. Whew. Right. The last card you have for your future is the King of Swords. Okay. 
Okay, I'm seeing the same thing again, the same energy again. Um, okay, I just want to say this, you've got support, you've got support, it's all around you. The support's all around you, the love's all around you. Um, I don't want to say any more about that, I don't want to keep on upsetting, I don't want to upset anyone really, but um, I just have to say that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about the images on this card. Okay, so it might be a bit hard to see this because it's very small, um, very, very small. But if you look at this king, you'll notice he's not, he's not right in the very centre of um, his throne. If you look at the back of his throne, he's kind of to the left. And he's there because just over his shoulder on that side where there's a big gap there, uh, there are these two little angels there and they're watching over him. So that's what you've got. You've got someone watching over you. You've got someone protecting you. And yeah, they want you to remember them. Um, it's very beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's very emotional. They want you to remember them. They want you to be strong like them. They want you to be strong like them. I had to say that again. So I'm not going to say any more about this. Um, it really just speaks for itself. Again, I hope I haven't upset anyone. I don't mean to do that. I really don't. But I, I just hope that helps someone. Okay, so I'm going to finish that there. I'm not going to say any more about that. So Gemini, uh, I hope this resonated. Uh, but general readings can't always resonate with everyone. Uh, again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment uh, if you would like to. Thank you for watching.